everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things beauty and fragrance. We'll discuss the elephant in the room real quick. Obviously, I've been MIA for a couple weeks. I actually got COVID and I was pretty darn sick. I'm also a bit overwhelmed right now because, you know, shortly before I got sick, I got on my Sephora sale haul. I got a Cause Bar uh, haul. I got Ulta. They have their 21 days of beauty and I have not gone over any of the things that I purchased. So I'm looking at my, I have a table here where I keep all my stuff that I'm going to review in the near future. And it is beyond full. I started using a few of the items just because, um, you know, I'm too curious to have them sit there and not be able to try them. Got all my hauls and was excited to try some of the products. I tried not to open up everything so I could open it up with you guys, but if I did use something, I'd put it back in the box so I, we could go over together everything that I got, which I kind of feel like is bragging, like, ooh, look at everything I bought. Um, but just know these are things that I purchased either because I wanted to try them or I thought they might be something that you guys are interested in. You know, I'll try them out maybe in some get ready with me videos or maybe I'll just try them out myself and then follow up uh, in a few weeks, hopefully, <laughs> uh, what my thoughts are. If I've enjoyed them, if I'd pass on them if I were you. Um, I also did a new setup. Do you guys like my perfume selection with my ginger ale there? But um, I'm undecided. I like having them all out on display, but also you're not supposed to keep your perfumes out in direct sunlight. They're actually supposed to be in a cool, dark spot to maintain the integrity of the juice inside. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if it stays, if it goes. For now, I like looking at it. So anyway, getting into the nitty gritty here, where do we begin? I guess we'll start with Sephora. Sephora had their spring sale. I hadn't planned on getting much, uh, you know, with the Chicago, Chicago, oh my gosh, where is my mind? The Minneapolis Chicago strike, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> the Minneapolis teachers strike. So I didn't have um, a lot of extra funds to be spending on product. However, I ended up getting, let's see, I have four boxes here and um, I do plan on returning a few of the items. Hopefully I still can, because it's been over 30 days. I guess we'll see. Like I said, I have been using some of the products and some of them I'm really impressed with so far. So we got one, two, three, four, woo, 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 woo. God, was it, I'm not telling you, it's overwhelming right now. Maybe I should have started with Ulta because I only ended up getting a few things there, but actually, yeah, let's just start with Ulta. So at Ulta, they had their 21 days of beauty where they have specific items that they have on sale. There wasn't a ton of things at the Ulta sale that I was interested in. I did get the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in green. Um, if y'all watch my channel, you know, I actually was a cosmetic counter manager for Stila at Nordstrom for uh, a time and really love their products. I'm the most loyal person ever, so I'll probably be loyal to them forever, but some products I like of theirs more than others, and this is one that I would definitely recommend. It's, when they say it's uh, stay all day, they're serious about that. Like, it's a forest green color. You can see that. It's almost black, but it does have a bit of a green tint to it, and it seriously stays all day. Like, there is no smudging on this sucker. Highly recommend these. The other thing I got was the Kopari uh, Exfoliating Body Scrub. They have a coconut melt and it's great for shaving. I have super sensitive skin and I tend to get a lot of bumps and razor burn when I shave, regardless of what silk, you know, all those fancy shavers that have the comfort strips and all of that. It didn't matter. I get rashes from everything. So, um, however, using the coconut melt and then I apply it in the shower and then I shave and it's the best shave and I don't experience any rash with that. So, um, anyway, impressed with that product. So I got the Kopari exfoliating body scrub. Uh, it's decent. I don't mind the scent. It's very natural. It's an organic product line. However, I sometimes can be very tactile. If you don't mind that oily feel that you get from certain moisturizers, then it'll be great for you. I don't necessarily like that. Um, I don't like feeling, I don't know if it's sticky or oily or what, but it's, it's just not my favorite feeling. So sometimes I mind it and sometimes I don't. We'll just say that. But 
uh, as a scrub it works really well and if you want that extra hydration from the oil then I would recommend it if you're tactile sensitive like myself and you don't like feeling like any sort of residue after the shower then it's not the product for you that was I think all that I got from the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale they had a couple things that I had thought that I was gonna get and then I forgot or I missed that day and you know they only have their certain products on sale for certain days so if you miss it you're just SOL and I was in some cases so um, anyway so let's move on to my Sephora haul uh, we'll start off by saying the two things that I got that I um, plan to return because they're in my car but I got the uh, dry shampoo by Sol de Janeiro. I love Sol de Janeiro. I really enjoy the Boom Boom Cream scent. However, for whatever reason, it just was too strong in my hair. Um, I think it's, I don't know, too close to my nose, whatever. But it just was too, a bit too potent for me. That is going back, although it was a dry shampoo, it did work well. Uh, the other thing, which I do have with me, because I wanted to remember to tell you guys about it, but I am going to try to return it as well. The Valentino uh, Born in Roma Coral. I had heard some good things about it. I heard if you like Born in Roma that you're going to love coral. I thought, you know, it'll be a bit fruit. I heard it was a bit fruitier of a take of Born in Roma, and I really like Born in Roma, so I thought that'd be an absolute wonderful fragrance for me. Obviously, Blind bought it, and it wasn't a favorite. It's just a little bit too sweet for me. Born in Roma as a whole is kind of a sweet fragrance, so I think it was the pear. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of pear. And I think that was the added note that just kind of threw me a bit. I'm going to try to return that one as well. But again, obviously after 30 days, so we'll, we'll see if they let me. That was really my only two disappointments of purchases. And like I said, I purchased quite a lot, which I'm going to show you. So a lot of these things I mentioned that I was going to be getting, so they're not going to be a surprise if you watch that video. But I got the Hourglass Vanish Primer. Love it. Love everything about it. I've used it a couple times. I haven't been doing my makeup a ton, obviously, since I haven't been going anywhere, but um, really, really enjoy this primer. Would highly recommend it. It does have a bit of a silicone feel to it, but that silicone feel is what's going to give you that poor, poreless airbrush finish. Love it. I got another KP Bump Eraser. Body scrub, again, if you suffer with, what do they call it, chicken skin, if you get those teeny tiny bumps that look like whiteheads, but they're not really whiteheads because it's just skin, this is a great product for you. It doesn't have a good scent. It's got no scent, but actually the no scent ends up kind of smelling like baby vomit or spit up. Uh, it does what it promises. It understands the assignment and it gets an A+. Plus. So another great product. I hadn't tried this but I wanted to because I heard such great things about it. Um, you guys know that I like the Laneige water uh, lip mask for night um, but I heard this one's even better. The Hangover Pillow Balm by Too Faced and I got Mango Kiss. I wanted watermelon but it was out. It's okay. It's I didn't really understand the the hype with it in all honesty. Um, it says it's infused with mineral rich stardust which sounds pretty cool. Ultra hydrating and nourishing lip treatment. To me, it felt like more like a gloss. You wake up and you kind of get that smacky feeling that you get from a gloss. Um, I didn't feel like it was so ultra hydrating. If I was going to get a, ma a lip mask or a balm, particularly straight out for hydration and nourishment, I wouldn't recommend this. It's okay. You know, it's got a nice scent or smell to it. It's just, you know, it's all right. I got Guerlain Advanced Youth Watery Oil. I've used this a ton. I've never actually bought the bottle of it before. I always get the little sample jars and I tended to stockpile those little sample jars so they lasted me a while, but I really enjoyed it. So I bit the bullet and bought the real thing. Does that have a spider on it? Oh my gosh, it's got a spider on it. <laughs> it's got a tiny little smash spider on it. But uh, I got the, when I was in there one day just sampling perfumes, I sampled Kaoli, which I hadn't really been that impressed with Kaoli fragrances in all honesty, but I smelled the Deja Vu white flower and thought it was pretty nice. So I ended up buying the hair perfume of it, the hair mist. 
I'm really enjoying hair mist lately. It's like a, I don't tend to wash my hair every day, like every three days or so. So it's kind of a way to maintain a bit of a fragrance. And most of the time they're a little bit less of a cost than the full bottle, than a full bottle of perfumes. If you're on a budget, but you're really enjoying a scent, I'd recommend maybe getting the, the hair mist and maybe the body lotion to go with it. You can still experience the fragrance, obviously a bit more subdued, but I'd say it's 80% of the experience of wearing the perfume itself. In all honesty, I have that for Baccarat Rouge 540. I have the hair mist and then the body lotion and people can smell it on me, so uh, no complaints there. A little, I guess, tip for saving some money on those high price point fragrances, but let me see the dead bug, see? Grossness. I'm sorry all this is like the the least articulate I have ever been but plowing through was excited to try Danessa Myricks her products aren't too expensive to begin with I like the fact that she um, is a makeup artist that makes her own products so she knows what she's doing she knows what uh, makeup does and how to maneuver it and I also like that it's more uh, pigments that you can use face wide cheek eye lip doesn't matter you kind of feel more like an artist when using the products that being said, if you're more of a beginner with makeup, it might not be the best product to start with. It's There is a bit of an art to it. It dries super fast. You kind of got to know how to blend it and everything. So um, not that I'm a pro at it by any means, but it did take a little getting used to, but I'm enjoying them. I had gotten a few, tried them out immediately, and then quick ordered a couple more shades. They've been kind of fun to play with. In the metallics, I got gold. What is it? It's not just gold though. It's gold mine. I got gold mine and then I got ballerina. I did do a shorts video using some of them so if you want some ideas on how to use them. I also got celebration which is more of a deep brown and then exposed. Exposed is probably my favorite one but I like to blend ballerina with exposed and then I use gold mine with the celebration. So a couple different looks. I also got her Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil. When they say micro pencil, they mean it. This is the smallest, finest pencil. It's like an eyebrow pencil. It is the finest tip I have ever seen. Problem is, I thought this would be great. It's waterproof. Um, I thought it'd be so cool for like waterline or like some detailing when you do like a cat eye or something like that. It's opalescence. I can't really even see it when I'm applying it, but then um, when the sun hits it or even in my videos, I look later and I'm like, God, I layered that on. I shouldn't have worn so much, but you really, you can't see it when you're putting it on. They're opalescent, so I got Lilac Quartz and Morganite. I actually haven't opened up Morganite yet, so I hope I like that one too. Downside is, is they, it breaks off so easy. You have to be so gentle with application because it just breaks if you have too much rolled up or um, too firm of an application. It, it You just gotta be so, so gentle. And I feel like, you know, with that small of a tip, I'm gonna go through it so super fast little disappointed with that but all in all glad that I purchased these I hope I like the Morganite I guess we'll see pencil wise I also got the Natasha Denona I need a rose lip crayon in peony it was a little bit lighter than I thought that thought that it would be but I actually really like it so let's see. but Nata I really enjoy Natasha Denona's lip pencils they're pretty um, high quality so highly recommend sample wise in this box I got the lease or LIS, L-Y-S, uh, Triple Fix Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid, Turmeric, and Ashwagandha. We'll see, we'll try it. All right, this is more my box of bought it because it got good reviews from other people, but I heard so much about how the K18 Biometric Hair Science Mask is better than the Olaplex Mask. I like the Olaplex Mask, so I got the, the mini size of the K18. It's pretty expensive. I kind of hope that I like the Olaplex better still, but We'll give her a try. I'll let you know what I think. A YSL Rouge Voluptes Candy Glaze Double Care Balm in Pink Satisfaction, which I did a shorts on. I'll link it below. Also, I'm gonna link all the, pro all the products that I mentioned in this video below. Uh, they are probably primarily affiliate links, so if you choose to use them, I get a small, small percentage of the purchase, which just goes to help supporting my channel, and I highly appreciate it. So the Rouge Voluptes 
in Pink Satisfaction. I did a shorts on that, which I will link below. For sample, uh, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Really like Glow Recipe, so I think I will enjoy that product. Heard this was really good for uh, fine hair, but I got the Virtue Flourish Density Booster. So we'll see how that goes. And then I thought I had lost it, so I got another Makeup Forever Endless Cacao. Whoops! pencil but um then i found it i'll probably keep it though because i use it a lot i was going to try and exchange it for the um there's another one that everyone's talking about lately it's like coffee something coffee so i might try to exchange it for that one but if not no biggie on that then again another purchase based on good reviews but i got the patrick ta for eyes major dimension 2 eyeshadow palette uh, I got the blush palette, which I really, really liked, so I thought, well, we'll try the eyeshadow palette. I haven't uh, tried this one yet. I'm waiting for you guys for this one. A little get ready with me, but beautiful, beautiful shades. I heard that uh, this is one that you want to buy in person because I guess a lot of them came with the, you know, the little squares popping out, so make sure you look at it before you purchase it. But the top is all uh, very, very apparently shimmery uh, shadows and then the bottom are your mattes and then you've got the two cream shadows over here so that'll be fun to play with oh here it is here's the valentino born in roma coral fantasy go spray again i just got the travel size but i'm gonna try to return that one and then last sephora box i got the tom ford lost cherry it's like a travel size. I didn't want to like this one because honestly I don't agree with the the name of it. It kind of gives me gross feelings for my own reasons, but I really like the scent. So we're just we're just gonna forget the name of this one and just enjoy the fragrance. So Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Again, I said I got the boom boom dry shampoo and I didn't like it. So went ahead and bought this one, hoping I can return the other, but living proof, perfect day dry shampoo. I needed another one of these, the YSL Touchy Clot High Cover Concealer. really like this concealer and it's a great uh, quick on the go tool for applying, fixing your makeup on the on the road. I got the Beauty Cleanser Solid Unscented um, Brush Cleaner. I'm trying to be much better about uh, cleaning my brushes more often to keep myself from getting rashes and blemishes which you can get from build up on your brushes. So uh, really like this, it's so easy to use and it really cleans your brushes super well. I went with the unfragranced one just so that I don't have to worry about any allergic reaction to scent. And then lastly, I got a Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder in 2N. Um, I love this powder, no powder. My natural skin tone is the 1N, so I got the 2N for when I have my fake tan for the summer. Sample-wise in this one, I got the Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I enjoyed their products as well, so I wanted to try that. And the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. So we'll give that a whirl too. I told y'all, this is the biggest haul I've ever done and probably will ever do. Lastly from uh, Sephora, I got the Tom Ford Summer Collection. Uh, their double duo here. I'm trying to think of what it's called. Sheer Cheek Duo in 02 Eclat New. It's pretty. In retrospect, I kind of wish I hadn't gotten it. I'm not going to return it, but it's it's not a must-have. It's cute. It's um, sheer. It's a sheer wash of color, but it's nothing that you need. So it is in a cute compact. I really do like the white and the gold, but not a must-have by any means. And it continues. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm uh, seriously, this is the biggest haul I will ever do. Cosbar. They, if you purchased a set amount, you got this entire thing, the entire thing of samples as a gift with purchase. So, you know, that was a hard one to pass up. And I mean, they're good samples too. It's not like samples that you're going to just throw out. Chantikai, a whole Lome a la Rose, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. Like, y'all know how pricey this little buddy is. Dr. Barbara Sturm, Vapor, Sisley. Like these are high quality samples here. And then dumb but me leaves it in the sun of my room, but a slip thing, which I live by. So all in all, great just for the gift with purchase. It was like a $200 purchase. So I got, my teeth are way too yellow and it drives me crazy. And they're also so super sensitive that I can't really even do any whitening things on them. 
So I got this Vardis Instant Bright and White Concentrate to try. It's super expensive. And then the thing is that big, which I didn't really see coming, but seriously, it's like the tiniest little, it's not even a nail polish use. So we'll try this, we'll see if it does anything. So that was the, the majority of that purchase. And then I got the Chantecaille Lip Veil in Ruby Red, which I had wanted, and it seems to be sold out in a lot of places. Was excited about that. And then a Delina hand cream, which, Love me some Delina, so we'll enjoy that. Uh, Ellis Brooklyn Scent Diary, which I have the thing in front of the, the box here, but you get the entire Discovery set of their scents. Um, and I like Ellis Brooklyn. It's a clean product line. It doesn't say on here, so maybe it's not. I was thinking it was clean though. They're not the longest lasting scents, but I mean, they're, they're nice. I, I enjoy the scents. They're just a shorter life scent. Fresh and clean though, you know. And then last, but not least, I guess, no, it's not last. I have one more. But um, I got the Pat McGrath Labs Bridgerton collection. Uh, this was actually the number two. The first one I had actually wanted and because at the time I bought it as soon as it was released thinking, oh, so awesome, I'll review it before anyone else. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> two months later where it's like old news now. But uh, anyway, Pat McGrath Labs by Bridgerton. Cute shades, which I think will be fun to play with. I really did not need this. I think I have the four here. No, these four already in one of her quads, but uh, maybe I'll do a comparison for you guys to show. See, but I mean, that'll be fun to play with. And then last, last, I had from the Neiman Marcus a $50 gift card I needed to use. And so I got I told you my hair mess thing. Uh, I got Roja Parfums hair mist in Elixir. I, th I was thinking it was extreme or something like that though. It says Supreme Hair Mist in Elixir. So, but I really, really like that scent. It's kind of, it's different. It's a stronger scent. If you guys ever experienced Ellie Saab, the, um, this one, Ellie Saab, the, it's from a couple, a while ago probably now. But I really, really liked that one. It was a bit strong for me. It was one of those that you have to spray and then walk through. Uh, but I really liked that scent. And this is kind of the same feel to it, albeit a bit more fresh. But it's got this note in it where it's kind of, I want to compare it to Dimatap, that grape Dimatap, which actually I really enjoyed Dimatap. But, um, or the taste of it, I mean. But it kind of has a scent in it where it's like, oh, it's a little dime a but in an enjoyable way. It just always reminds me of that. Yeah, that's it. I mean, gosh, I don't even want to think about how much money all this stuff was right now. That's why I feel kind of bad doing these haul videos. It's kind of like, ooh, look how much money I spent on conspicuous consumption because it's not like I really needed any of these things. I enjoy them though, you know? I don't spend my money on a lot of other things. So, you know, some people spend it on cigarettes. Some people spend it on alcohol. I spit it on makeup. Uh, I guess we all have our vices. I hope you guys are doing well. Seriously, wear your masks, all I can say. All I, I thank God that I had my vaccines. I'm actually triple vaxxed. Because uh, if I was that sick with three vaccines, I don't even want to think about where I would be had I not had those vaccines. Like, you know, like all these mutations that this COVID has gone through, and they seem to be getting lesser and less uh, potent or severe as the virus mutates. But so I think about had I had one of the first cases or second, you know, like Delta or what was the first one? I can't even think of what it was called. I'm thinking Alpha because I know that's, but now knowing how sick I got with this last Omicron or whatever, I, I don't know which one it was, but I'm assuming it was Omicron. I'm like how sick I could have gotten if I had gotten it at the beginning, you know, before there even was a vaccine. Point being, wear your masks, because apparently now I seem to have long COVID, so. Um, but I'm not dead. I'm not dead. And I wasn't hospitalized, and I was able to take steroids, and the pro-whatever pill it's called, the COVID antiviral pill, and you know, little by little I'll get better, so. Could have been much worse. Much worse. And my heart goes out to anybody who lost loved ones from it. 
I know people write it off like it's nothing. You know, whatever political belief that you may have, whatever feelings you may have about everything that's going on right now, whether or not you're pro-vax or anti-vax or whatever, it's all your decision. But please just be empathetic when you talk about it to other people because their experience with it may be completely different than yours. And I feel so bad for people who lost one or two or more people in their family from COVID and then you hear other people oh whatever back to life as normal yada 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 well no it's not life to back as normal for them because their life will never be the same and my heart goes out to them now I'm just ranting again all the products that I talked about in this video will be linked below uh, if you choose to use the link to purchase the product I am very much appreciative if not that's fine too and um, I plan on doing more detailed reviews on some of these products in the future. If there's anything that I mentioned or talked about today that you would be interested in knowing more information about, please comment below. If you think that I should have picked up something else that I didn't, I'd love to hear your opinion. Please comment below that as well. Now that I'm doing a bit better, I will try to get more into my routine of making and posting videos. I've missed making them. I just wanted to be more in top form. And I looked like crap. I mean, honestly, I felt like I should be taking a million pictures of myself so that I have the before. Because trust me, my how I looked awful. I broke out. I, I looked awful. Not that I look much better now, but that was god awful. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.